it forward. Goes short with a hand pass. Hale gets the kick off before he's poleaxed by Prittis. Franklin picks it up. Picked up the ball. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Glass gets the interception on the bounce. Schofield looking to make them pay for that turnover. Kicks. Selwood has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. He gives the ball a mighty roost. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Suckling sends one up towards the wing. Marks. Burgoyne has a lot of passion for this game. You can see it every time he steps out onto the field. He's an inspiration to all the players around him. A long kick there. Gunston marks it. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. McKenzie gets a fist to it. Hale with the steal. It's intercepted. Lewis with a nice intercept. Selwood grabs the ball on the bounce. Mitchell applying great pressure there. Kennedy gets the ball. He puts power behind that kick. Ware with the mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. A soaring mark taken right there. Strong mark. Lewis wastes no time and bangs it forward. Caught.
never looked like going through. Hawthorne by a point. Glass is ridiculously consistent. I'd like to see a clanger from him just for a change. When coaches have someone like him in the lineup, they can sleep easier knowing they have someone so reliable. Suckling, handballs it. The ball comes out as he goes down. Sell should have passed the ball. Mustedi's now in front of goal. Plenty of space for an easy uncontested mark. Kicks the skin off it. Has he? Yes, he's played it. Boots it. Hearn punches it. The call was made and the mistake followed. Missed his target by hand. Rioli shoots off the handball. Was that the butler? Works it across the ground. Cradles the ball well. Sell told me recently that he loves playing footy for this club, and you can really see it in his attitude on the field. I have a feeling he'll be at this club for a long time to come. Concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. Cox kicks for goal. Nice kick. West Coast, but back in front. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Good tap from that Nui. Right place, right time. Mitchell plays a strong tackle and forces the ball to spill free. We'll have another ball up. Hale with the mighty fist. I hope that wasn't the plan. He collects the loose ball. Jams it on the boot now. Dropped by Gunston. Handball short. Ruffhead running in, about to kick. Gets the distance. That's his first. The Hawks take the lead. The Ruckman are looking through each other. Eyes wide, nostrils flaring. It's an intense stare down as they wait for this bounce. Stolen. The crowd thinks that was a free. They must have seen something that nobody else did. Blake flies in for a lovely mark. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop punt. White cross with the catch. An easy grab for Bruce. Nice drop punt. McKenzie with the tap is in his possession. Pass by Rioli. He takes control of the loose ball. Butler with an accurate pass. Tackles. Gunston. It's missed him. The ball came out of the pack like a wet salmon. Critters. Moves it quickly by hand. Mitchell tackles. Hale wants it back. He runs into the goal. Oh. He's only got the open goals in front of him. How could he have got that loose? I've got no idea. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Hale with the tap. McKenzie with the steal. No, the free kick won't be paid. Prittis with a kick as he gets pulled down by Franklin. Kennedy, this is a great angle to kick from. Boots it. Selby. He's kicking from a bit of an angle. He kicks it. Oh, what a goal. It's there for the taking. There is nothing in this. Tap by Pearl. McKenzie takes advantage of the bad tap. Kirk handballs it. Oh, sloppy. The umpire calls for the ball up. Definitely palmed to advantage. A short handball. It's gone wide of the intended target. Shuey. Few upload to Lex. Silver can't keep up with Kennedy. He slots it. They've got two in a row. They are in the lead now. The Hawks trailing by five. They have a lot to think about. The Eagles should be happy with their lead, Dennis. They came out focused and committed to a very good game plan. The second quarter has begun. Nice bounce. Deft touch from Shuey. Sewell had his attempt smothered. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Marston catches it. 
Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. He reached down for the mark. Suckling has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid go. Burgoyne takes the uncontested mark. He opts to play on. Lewis takes the mark without any contest. A nice bit of power there. He grabs it. Gunston winds it up 50 metres out. He's kicking on about 45 degrees from here. Let's see if they can go on with us from now. Hawthorne back in front. This match is swinging back and forth like a metronome. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. And look at that bounce. Tapped by Pearl. Handball short. Few late with the interception. Able to grab it on the half volley. 50 metres from home. Lewis controls. He picked it up off the ground. Ruffhead receives it from Franklin. Prittis takes him down, but the kick is away. Glass arms out. Nice mother. Sewell pummels him, but the kick gets away in time. And the mark will be paid. Slams it on the boot. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. And the ball goes over the boundary near the 50. The umpire will toss it back in. Ruckman vying for the better position. Hale with the punch. Shuey with a short hand pass. The players have decided to take advantage. Sewell disappears into the sunset as he speeds away. Tom, you followed his career for a while. Can he kick this? I reckon the distance will be too much for him here, Dennis. Rioli takes aim for goals. Tom, help me out here. What was he thinking? That's the problem there, Dennis. He wasn't. The Hawks by two points. Glass has his feet firmly placed on the ground, and he's a great leader around the club. A nice strong mark. He misses the mark. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Selwood with a gigantic kick. Mark by the try. Trying to get some momentum with this kick. The Eagles on top. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Great bounce. Hale taps. McKenzie just happened to be in the right place for that one. The advantage is played. Mitchell intercepts it. Going for goal number one. Ruffhead catches. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. The lead going to the Hawks. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The bounce straight down. Hale with the hit. Got that one off just in the nick of time. He gets his hands on the footy. Caught with the ball. Ruffin is one of the best taggers in the game. He just doesn't give his opponents any room to move. They know they'll be lucky to only have a handful of possessions by the end of the game. He's all by himself. Birchall puts it on the boot. And the ball crosses over the boundary. The ball going back to the players right now. Hale taps it. He's tapped it to the wrong player. Umpire's made his decision. No free. Sewell passes. Time drying up with only 90 seconds to go. Stratton kicks it just in time. The ball bounced favorably for Pern. The contest, no match for him. Kicked by Sackling. Lewis! Puts boots a ball. Oh, he spilled it! A favorable bounce. Gunston. Schofield. Shoots off the handball, approaching the goals now. Ruffhead just squeezes the kick out. There's no one to stop him banging this one through. Franklin. Right. 
glass. What did they used to say at school? Butterfingers lets it drop. He gives chase. Great assist by Marston. Darwin. He's dead in front, and surely he'll convert. He kicks it. You don't have to wait and see, but that's a goal. His fist is pumping. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Hale really gets onto this one. The Ruckman heard a call just from the wrong player. The umpire says, give it to me. Big leap. Goes short with a hand pass. Oh, rough here. He boots it. Oh, he's missed the big uprights. There's nothing in this. Glass. Seconds remaining in this quarter. Marston. There's been a lot to enjoy in the second quarter. The scores at West Coast, 30, Hawthorne, 28. Don't give up at half time. Concentrate on winning the second half as well. We'll have a look at the stats. The Hawks are behind on the scoreboard, but the stats are in their favour. They need to turn some of that magic into goals. Ha Second half is underway. Good bounce. Chewick directs it down. Sewell steals it. Hand passes. Hale guides it. Steal by Seldu. He's been seized with the ball that's going to be holding it. Picture perfect drop punt. Schofield spills it. Schofield has been a step and a half too slow all game. Kicks it around the corner. Out of bounds, dangerous spot near the goal. The umpire will throw it back in. Thrown in majestically. Punch by Hale. The spilled ball is collected. Guided by Hale. The umpire not giving a free kick there. Ruffhead applies a strong tackle. Rioli just got shot blocked by Glass. The pass too slow for the running man. Umpire not even hesitating, just let the play go on. No free. Border control will be keen to look at this trafficking. Rioli plays a hard tackle and forces the ball to spill out. 15 metres out. Hale has all eyes on him. This one is for the lead. He looks for a man on the lead. The ball comes back in. Embley with a big fist on it. Sewell beats the hand pass out. 45 metres out. Handball short. He timed the release to perfection. Stratton laps up the misplaced footy. It's his. He shows the quick hands. Waters spills the ball on the tackle. A short handball. Prittis, not phased by the pressure, gets his kick away. Bumps the big skin. He has no trouble grabbing that one. Now, do you think he can kick this one, Tom? It's a gimme from this angle. Selwood slots the goal. Goal number two for Selwood. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. The bounce lays a straight. Hale sets the tone of the game with his ruck work. He always gives his team first use of the ball. He kicks it long. Darwin claims the ball. He lines up for goal. Darwin with the shot. Goal for the Eagles. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. One down by Hale. McKenzie takes advantage of the band tag. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Guided down nicely by Hale. He gains possession. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Clean tap by Hale. The call was made and the mistake followed. And we'll get a ball up. Hale aims for his man on the ground. Franklin handballs to his own advantage. Ruffhead hands the ball straight to his opponent. What was he thinking? A great effort. Maston is a smart guy, but he needs to keep a call ahead so that he can make the right decision at the right time. Maston is a major threat, and I think you'd want to get a tag to run with in this match, which is the ultimate sign of respect.
Shuey chucks the ball away. Gibson slams him into the turf. Perfect kick. Ruckman sizing each other up like a bull in a matador before they engage in the delicate art of ruck work. McKenzie with the steal. Hit by Taylor. Goes short with a hand pass. Intercept by Shuey. Selwood won't get that bad handball. Might get a free. No. Legal according to the umpire. Punched by Taylor. Right place, right time. Kicks into space, hoping a teammate can get under it. Takes that one strongly. The ball is hammered towards goal by Pill. Football is not, never has claimed to be a fair game. The Eagles by 20 points. Gibson is a deadly kick. He can pinpoint his man almost every time. Waters with the catch. Lining up the goal now. He got a hold of that one. No one around him to trouble him. Sending it on its way. And the ball goes out of bounds. Neither Ruckman giving an inch. Big thump from Pearl. I hope that wasn't the plan. Kirk loses the ball in a strong tackle by Sewell. Well, I'm going to watch the game by a ticket. Smothers it. Intercepted by Virtual. White cross with a perfect drop punt. He takes that one on the chest. Kicked by Franklin. Off hands. Rioli has played a shocker. He's not a long jumper who can't reach the sand. Hearn keeping calm, and he kicks the ball out of the 50. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Butler gets a less than pretty drop putt away. Selwood gets the tap. Gets the loose ball. Handball short. Oh, friendly. A short handball. Stratton mistimes the handball. Goes short to the hand pass. Pick up by Selwood. Umpire says play on. Approaching the goals now. He kicks it. Gun barrel straight. West Coast beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 55 to 29. Shuey decisively. Stolen. Hand passed by Sewell. Nicely intercepted by McKenzie. Shuey with the mighty fist. He's tapped it to the wrong player. No free kick. He gathers the loose ball. Schoenmakers gets it cleanly across to Franklin. It's been intercepted by the opposition. Couldn't complete the mark. The ball mopped up. That was an interesting quarter there. Your thoughts, Tom? West Coast have all the momentum going into this last quarter. The Hawks need to respond and may need a change in game plan to wrestle this match back. The players are starting to feel the strain of the first three quarters now. There's the bounce. Nat Nui with the tap. Timely handball. Schoenmaker's running too fast for that pass. Kirk has the ball. He seems to have the ball on a string, Tom. He's been outstanding. All matched in. Sewell handball short. Well, it could be worse, I suppose, Tom. He may as well have just dropped the ball on the ground there, Dennis. Handball short. Down goes Roughhead. No way he'll come back after an injury like that one. Gets the kick off as he's taken down by Selwood. Solid catch. Hill doesn't have the strongest marking hands in the contest, but he's certainly very, very handy on the lead. Where it takes the mark. Franklin really forced to earn that mark. Schoenmakers drops the mark. Right now he looks like a man in a darkened room trying to discover where all the furniture is. Collected by Hearn, Mitchell smothers it. The loose ball picked up by Waters. Lewis gathers it. The ball's come out of the pack like a chocolate bar from a slot machine. Shot by Mitchell. He's having a ball, if you'll excuse the pun. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. The ball bouncing well. Good tap from Nat Nui. The ball is smothered. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. Schofield pummels him, but the kick gets away in time. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. Blast smothers. Silver takes off as the tackler hits the ground. Nat Nui clears it. Quick hands allows him to get that one off in time. Sewell gets it behind. Danger signs for Hawthorne. 
Needs someone to break hard. He's ready to bring it back into play. The ball is kicked a long way back into play. A solid mark from Whitecross. Mistimes the kick. The ball hits him right on the chest. Blast a massive kick off the boot. McKenzie outstretches his opponent to win the ruck. Like a Melbourne tram. They all jumped on and nothing was paid. Stuck the mitts out and hold on to it. Hawthorne been able to take more marks out there, but most of these have been from playing possession footy. They'll need to start taking a few more risks out there. Hale drops it. He handballs it. He's approaching the goal now. Gunston goes for home. A great goal. All is in readiness. Here we go. Effective hit out there. The free kick hasn't been paid. Handball finds Trillis. Nat Louie takes him down, but the kick is away. Blast takes advantage. He picks up the loose ball. Gets boot to high. He takes that one on the chest. Strong mark. Even though Hawthorne are behind on the scoreboard, they'll be proud of their dominance in the air. And so they should be. He puts power behind that kick. Suckling just wanted it more then. Safely taken on the chest by Burgoyne. Jams it on the boot. That's a brilliant leap. He kicks with power. Gunston got under it. You know more about him than I do, Tom. Reckon he can bag this one? It's a very sharp angle. I don't think he'll kick it. Ruckman trying to mad dog each other before this bounce. They know 90% of this game is half mental. Mackenzie steals it. Sewell doesn't make the tackle. Mackenzie has a decent top speed on him, but he's not quite at the elite level just yet. Time drying up with only 90 seconds to go. With no time to spare, he gets the ball away. Unfortunately, placed ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Schofield pummels him, but the kick gets away in time. Tell him kick. It's going to go down as one of the great matches. Nothing in it now with seconds remaining. Tapped by Nat Nui. The Ruckman heard a call just from the wrong player. Burgoyne with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. 45 metres out. Blast hits it. Gains possession. McKenzie passes it. Goes up the line. Oh, you beauty. The mark missed by Kennedy. Very quiet by his standards. Holding the ball. Surely that wasn't a plan. That's just a waste of a kick there. Punishing kick from Stratton. Matt Nui. Selwood drops it. Selwood has been violating the golden rule of kindergarten. He's not playing well with others. Franklin knocks the ball loose with a big tackle. Stratton somehow manages to get that ball out with all those players around him. Stratton. Kirk being paid a free there. He kicks it. Oh, you beauty. What a kick, son. What a kick. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Deft touch from Nat Nui. He's tried to do too much with that kick. Not much time left in this match. The final siren of the match is sounded. The Eagles hit the victory.